ലോകജാലകത്തിലൂടെ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിത പങ്കാളിയെ കണ്ടെത്താൻ Organizational commitment turn over relationship across occupational groups, a meta-analysis group and organizational management, 18, 188-213, Griffith, R.W. Home, P.W. and Gairner, S. 2000. A meta-analysis of antecedents and correlates of employee turnover update moder- moderator test and research implication for the next millennium journal of management 26 463 to 488 home p w karanegas work walker f rosha g e n griffith r w 1992 a meta analytical structural equations analysis of a model of employee turnover journal of applied psychology 77, 892, 909, Carl Gard, and R, 2006, October 16, Who Wants to be Public, Forbes, Asia, 217, 22, Mayer, J.P. Stanley, D.J. Hertzsevich, L. and Tupolnetsky, L. 2002, Effective continuance and normative commitment to the organization, a meta-analysis of antecedents, correlates, and consequences, Journal of Vocational Behavior, 61, 22-52, Steele, R.P., and Ovale, N.K., 1984, a review and meta-analysis of research on the relationship between behavioral in- intentions and employee turnover. Journal of Applied Psychology 69, 673-686, Ted, R.P. and Mayor G.P. 1993, Job Satisfaction Organizational Commitment, Turnover Intention and Turnover Path Analysis Based on Meta-Analytic Findings. Personal Psychology 46, 259-293, 24, 19 Badal, J. 2006, July 24, Career Path Programs Health Retain Workers, Wall Street Journal B. 1, Griffith R. W. Home P. W. and Gardner S. 2000, a meta-analysis of antecedent and correlates of employee turnover, update moderator tests and research implication for the next millennium, Journal of Management 26, 463, to 488 Fodsakov and P Lepine G A and Lepine M A 2007 Differential Challenge Stressor Hindrance Stressor Relationship B with job attitudes turnover intention turnover and withdrawal behavior A meta analysis Journal of Applied Psychology 92 438 to 454 25. 20. Salgado J.F. 2002. The Big Five Personality Dimension and Counterproductive Behavior. International Journal of Selection and Assessment 10. 117-125. Simerman R.D. In Fact of Personality Traits on Individual Turnover Decision and Meta-Analytic Path Model Personal Psychology 61-309-348. 2.6. Developing your positive attitude skills, learning objectives. 1. Learn to be happier at work. 2. Leverage your attitudes for optimum work performance. Have you ever wondered how you could be happier at work and how greater work satisfaction could improve your overall effectiveness? Here are the some ideas that may help you achieve a great sense of peace for yourself as well as when you are working with a negative co-worker. Leverage your big five traits. Your personality is a big part of your happiness. Which of the big five positive traits are you strongest on? 
Be aware of them and look for opportunities to express them at work. Are you high on neurotism? If so, work to overcome this challenge. If you choose to find the negative side of everything, you will find a job and company that fit you well. Good fit with a job and company are important to your happiness. They start with knowing yourself, your chosen career, and the particular job in question. What do you want from the job? What do you enjoy doing? Get accurate information and about the job and company. Ask detailed questions about what life is like in this company. Do your research. Read about the company. Use your social network to understand the company's culture. Develop good relationship at work. Make friends. Try to get a mentor if your company does not have formal mon- mentoring program. Approach the person you admire and attempt to build a relationship with this person. An experienced uh, mentor can be a great help in navigating life at a company. Your social network can help you weather the bad days and provide you with emotional and instrument support during your time at the company as well as afterward. Pay is important but job characteristics matter more to your job satisfaction. So don't sacrifice the job itself for a bit more money. When choosing a job, look at the level of challenge and the potential of the job to make you feel engaged. Be a proactive in managing organizational life. If the job is a stressful, cope with it by effective time management and having a good social network as well as being proactive in getting to the source of stress. If you don't have enough direction, ask for it. Now when to leave, if the job makes you unhappy, over an extended period of time and there is a little hope of solving the problems, it may be time to look elsewhere. K takeaway. Promoting a positive work attitudes will increase your overall effectiveness as a manager. You can increase your own happiness at work by knowing yourself as a person by ensuring that you work at a job and company where you fit in and by building effective work relations with your managers, co-workers, and subordinates. Concentrating on the motivating potential of the job when choosing a job and solving the problems you encounter in a proactive manner may be helpful as well. Exercises 1. Do you believe that your own happiness at work is on your hand? What have you done in the past to increase your own satisfaction with work? 2. Consider the most negative person you work or interact with. Why do you think they focus more on the negative side of life? 3. On the basis of what you have read in this chapter, can you think of ways in which you can improve your effectiveness in dealing with negative co-workers? 3. History, Globalization, and Values-Based Leadership What's in it for me? Reading this chapter will help you do the following. 1. Learn about the history of principles of management. 2. Know the context for contemporary principles of management. 3. Understand key global trends. 4. See how globalization is affecting management principles and practices. 5. Appreciate the importance of value-based leadership ethics in management. The planning, organizing, leading, and controlling POLC framework is summarized in the following figure. In this chapter, you'll learn that some principles of management are injuring, but you'll also see that managers need to be continually adapting to changing times. Each phase of the framework, from planning to organizing to leading to controlling, has to be adapted to take advantage of and to manage in our changing world. Global trends affect both the style and the substance of management as the world becomes more global. Managers find themselves leading workforces that may be distributed across the country and the world. Workers are more educated but more expected of them. The realm 
of manager is expanding as a leader, you'll be a role model in the organizations, setting the tone not just for what get done but how it gets done. Increasingly, good business practice extend to stewardships not just of the organizational but of the environment and community at large ethics and values based leadership aren't just good ideas they are vital to attracting the talent and retaining loyal customer and business partners